Now uh, I have the pleasure to introduce Pastor Praveen from Nations Church, and he's going to pray for the government. Um, so very excited about that. Pastor Praveen. Uh, we'll just take the uh, next couple of minutes just to pray for the government. Um, I think it's very important that we keep them in our prayers. Heavenly Father, uh, you gave us the mandate to keep leaders in our prayer. 1 Timothy 2 says, I urge then, first of all, that the request, prayers, intercession, and the thanksgiving be made for everyone, for the kings and all those in authority, that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So we lift, uh, we lift this morning each and every person who holds the government position, head of local council, counselors, TDs before you, Lord. Second Chronicles 7 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land. Yes, Lord, we stand in the gap and ask for forgiveness on behalf of our government for ruling our country in an ungodly manner by introducing laws that are against your principle and the word. We pray for salvation for them and their families in Jesus' name. Nothing is too hard for you, Lord. Soften their hearts and pray that the scales of their eyes will fall like Saul and regain their sight in Jesus' name. Lord, uh, any stronghold and principalities that are controlling this government will be shaken in Jesus' name. Ephesians 6, 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the power, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. For Second Corinthians 10 says, For the weapons of the warfare are not carnal, but mighty in, mighty in God for pulling st strongholds. So, Lord, thank you for giving us the power to bring hold, bring down the stronghold that are holding our government. I plead the blood of Jesus over our government. There is power in the blood of Jesus to pull down any strongholds. Amen. Lord, we pray no more apathy among our, your children. Lord, you, you will raise up sons and daughters who love you, fear you, who will, ru who will run for the government positions. We pray that they do not fear, those, fear their, this world and their schemes, but they will stand strong because they are not alone. You will walk before them. Proverbs 21.1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, like the rivers of water. He turns it wherever he wishes. So yes, Lord, we, as we seek your face to lead this nation of Ireland for every small and big decision that they make, we pray for a godly wisdom and boldness that run the government according to your principle and the word. Help us, help us not to forget to pray and seek your face daily for our leaders. Your word says, Jeremiah 29, 7. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I carried you into exile. For pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Lord, we stand in the gap and pray and intercede now. It's not just it's going to impact this generation, but generations to come. So once again, we lift each and every member of the government before you, current and the future members. We pray for their salvation, healing of their hearts, and sound mind when making decisions. We cover them and their families with your precious blood of Jesus. Nation of Ireland belongs to you. You are the ruler and the head of this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.